India started on its mission of renewal in the early 70s. Today, it is one of the world's largest renewable energy programs that sweeps across remote villages, bustling metros and huge industries. This story marks the milestones of India's journey on the path of alternatives. The advent of electricity in Lithi village was a wondrous moment. Hidden in the mountain ranges of Uttarakhand, the village is too remote to be connected to a grid. In 1999, the government set up a 50 kilowatt micro hydro project in the village. Electricity was generated from the river flowing down the valley. Electricity has also brought new pride. Across many villages of Uttarakhand, local communities are being empowered by the government to manage their own powerhouse. Village energy committees are being involved in planning, operation and maintenance of micro-hydro plants. Small hydropower is passing through an exciting phase of development in India. Over 4,000 sites have been identified across the country with the potential of producing nearly 10,000 megawatts of power. This energy will light up remote villages, power small industries and even strengthen the grid. Situated on the easternmost coast of India, the Sundarbans are a group of over a hundred islands, home to the world's largest mangrove forest. In large parts here, electricity is still a distant dream. But change is underway. It started a decade ago, when the government set up the country's largest biomass gasifier power plant of 500 kilowatts in Gosaba Island. The gasifier is a technology that uses biomass instead of fossil fuels to generate power. Powered by the gasifier, Gosaba has leaped light years ahead in a decade's time. Today, it has over 1,200 consumers who are buying power at nearly 6 to 8 rupees per unit. India has the world's largest deployment of solar photovoltaic systems, solar lanterns, home lighting systems and street lights. Many such products are making rural lives a wee bit easier. Welcome to the Garden City of India, the thriving hub of IT industry, Bangalore. Happy sunshine is nature's gift to this city. And so, people have brought it right into their homes. Bangalore dominates 50% of the country's market for solar water heaters. Homes, hotels, hospitals or restaurants, solar water heaters are sitting almost on every rooftop of Bangalore. The city saves around 300 megawatts every day during the morning peak hours Suzlon is one of the world's leading wind energy companies, recognized for its expertise in research, development and manufacture of wind turbines. Indian companies are producing modern wind turbines and related components indigenously. They are even setting up farms in countries as diverse as China, Australia and the US. On the home turf, Wind energy owes its success to the government's zeal to make it an attractive investment opportunity. So India is growing much faster than the global market you can say, like some of the other emerging markets also. And uh, you know the potential is huge. We have identified potential of 45,000 megawatts in the country. And a small percentage of that, about 6,000 or so is only captured today. So there is a huge untapped potential uh, that exists. Spanning over three decades, India's renewable energy program has come a long way. It has been a catalyst of change for many people in rural India who lived without access to modern energy. Businesses too are discovering a clean, profitable way ahead. Today, 
when India is at the threshold of a new era of progress. This is a happy reason to believe that she will stride ahead with a green heart.